Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with Mo. Hi, welcome hi guys. Back. Thank oh God, you. He is fresh from the plane. I'm still jet lagging, and this is actually the first task. I know. I was forced to do this even in the middle of my jet lag, but anything for Nicole. I booked it in Portugal, pa lang. I'm like, when are you landing? Okay, we're shooting the next morning. Yeah, but I'm so excited to be back here. I know how Nicole works so hard for her content, for her vlog. So anything for her, and of course for you guys as well. Because we know that there are many questions for us. Yes. So that's what we're doing today. Yes. We're going to be doing a Q&A with Mon. You guys sent in your questions via Instagram. And we're going to go through some of them. We're not going to make it super formal. We're just going to go through some of them and then... Well, I'm just curious what people want to know about us. So I, There's I, a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of questions. Are they controversial? Some. <laughs> we'll okay, go. I'm ready. We this is going to wake me up. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's start with easy ones first. Okay. How did your friendship start? From the mother's fetus. I know. Right? I think from our parents. From our parents, our mom, our friends. Mm -hmm. They used to be really close. Yeah. They're still friends now, but they used to be really close when we were growing up. Yeah. So I would see Nicole often as as kids. Yeah. We would go to each other's birthday, birthday parties. Christmases. Christmases. Like, so that's how it started. And then yeah. when we became a little bit older, when you became more like teenagers, yeah. that's when the friendship started really growing. And I know we have uh, a few years apart. Yeah. But I think I was the first person to bring you to a night club. I was gonna say, you were the first one to really take me out. And my mom was like, Hi, Lana Mascara, Lana Mascara, you want Lana? Yeah, so her mom would think that I was the bad influence. But yeah. in reality, Nicole just really wanted to go out. I just, he, was, <laughs> he was just my scapegoat. I was, if it wasn't him, it was gonna be someone else. And you know, this is the time before Instagram and stories. Yeah. So we had a really good time. and. I think no time then we were just excited to be, you know, yeah. exploring the city, exploring Manila, meeting new people. So it was a fun time. And then after that, Nicole flew to college. Yes. And then when you finished college, you came back. I came back. And then you kind of entered showbiz, right? No, so I was doing showbiz before college. Oh, okay. And then I stopped. And then when, when I, you came back. And then when I came back, I was working corporate the bar. That's right. Yeah, and then na discover I was a bar. It's a bar then. So useful na when you pag bar. Actually, yung bar guys, you if you want to <laughs> excel in life, go to a go to the nearest bar. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not career love life. Kasi uh, dun yung mahana pang joa nyo. <laughs> trabaho nyo. Trabaho nyo. So yun. go lang. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so dun kami nagsimula, and it's been. Mm. And actually, for long haul, na dami na nang nangyari sa life natin. Yes, and it's nice to have friends that have been with you through all the phases, and it's important to keep those kinds of friendships. And I'm yeah. so happy that in our group we have all of those yeah. people, de right? who've seen us, you know, succeed, fail, and then we're all still there for each other. Yeah, that's yeah. true. How do you spice up your Instagram for starters? Maybe some IG tips. Some IG tips. I think the, for Mia, mm. it really has to represent your life. Okay. You know, I'm not saying it has to be the most real thing. I mean, we love a fake we, filter. We love a curated. We thing. love a curated moment. Yeah. But it can't be totally fake. Yeah. It still has to be a reflection of your own personality, who you are, because that's what's gonna make you connect with your audience and with your followers. Because you can't just fake. A life or fake a lifestyle. You know what I mean? Because it's really it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. Eventually, lalabas din yung totoo. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's always should be a reflection of who you are. So it should be your interests, whether it's fashion, sports, traveling. Kailangan it has to be a reflection of you. Yes. And so for those like core values, I would say to spice it up, you can then play around with like different trending topics mm -hmm. or trending hashtags or whatever and then just go or, with it. You know what? Trending sounds. I think yeah. music and the music that you use for your reels I think plays a really big part in creating a more fun reel. Device. Yes. And since nowadays reel na talaga is the way to go. Ayo mm -hmm. ayo na ng Instagram sa photos. Photos. Ayo na nila. So na start na doing reels nila. guys. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? That's tough. You know after traveling for a while, I think really nothing beats the Philippines for yeah. me. I think it's still essentially home for it's us. Home. I think no matter where you go around the world, this still feels like home. Yeah. And right now, as you know, I'm living in between Los Angeles and Manila. That's one of the questions. Yeah. So I think LA will be my second home, yeah. but 
Mano will be my forever home. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next question is, how do you establish yourself in the industry? Well, it depends. I think you have to really know your niche. Yeah. You have to have, you know, the skills and the talent to really propel yourself. You have yeah. to be very prepared. Um, you have to know what are the essential tools that you need to really perform well. Yeah. So, for if you are a fashion vlogger, you need to be aware of the history of fashion, um, the trends, you need to be up to date. Ka. Color you really, theories, like yeah, all of it. You have right? to research, you have to do the, the work. You yeah. um, it's on a shallow scale, right? Yeah. And when it comes naman to like hosting, yeah. you know, with me, what I did was I would practice in front of the mirror. Yes. Yeah, I, I would write a script, a fake script. Yeah. And then I would practice hosting in front of the mirror. Yeah. Or record yourself. Or record yourself. Because then you can watch it back. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I would also say, like, like you said, you really have to hone your skills. But in terms of establishing yourself in an industry, I really feel like you really have to put in the time and the work. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want nowadays instant gratification, mm -hmm. and they just want to be like you know famous for being the next big photographer but you haven't you know yeah. you haven't been an intern you haven't mm -hmm. done the grind you have to work your way up of yeah. course there's the, there are those lucky ones that go viral yeah but you know if you don't if you're not prepared or if you don't have the skill set even going viral or, or being famous quickly it won't last if you don't have the necessary skills to make it last diba? so do the work and be consistent with it yung priority talaga that. So the next question, let's make it a little, I don't know. Spicy. A little spicy. Let's do this. First of all, one of the questions is how, how are you right now? Like what's new in your life? That's a loaded question. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's, how am I? I mean, I'm, I'm jet lagging. I'm still kind of sleepy. I'm, you know, I'm, right now I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. um, I get to do what I love. I am in control of my own schedule. Yeah. I am my own boss. Um, so I'm very, very content with what's happening right now in my life and looking forward to what's next. Okay. Yeah. Love life, so, I'm very happy, as you know. I know. And I, I'm I've really been more happy open for you. in yes. sharing that in my Instagram. So, speaking of love life, one of the questions for me was I'm so excited. When is the wedding? Huli sa balita, guys. Oh my God! Oh my God, Presley! Presley, naman ang Google at you. Hi. She just wants to say hi. Akala ko dadam ba siya, girl? No, okay. okay, okay, chill lang. She's very, sh she's very chic. She's chill. Chic. <laughs> wait, lang hindi natin na sa So wait, na stress kasi ako sa wedding question. I know. So pati si Presley. Medyo na lao kasi. Uh -oh. Wait, okay. So I think a lot of people already know the answer to this, but I'll answer it once and for all mm -hmm. so that. Tapos na and we can move on. Mm -hmm. But I'm single, so there is no wedding happening. <laughs> applause, fake applause for everybody. Fake sound. You know, I I, I know you've been single for a while. I think okay. I was one of the first people to. You to, were the first when I called. To know and yeah. and for me, honestly, I think I've never seen you. I think more excited for what's next. Yeah. I think you really learned a lot about yourself in that chapter, and. You've just been so happy. You've been yeah. so productive. You're so goal oriented. You've always been so goal oriented. But I think this is a nice refresh for you. That's right. Right? Yeah. And I think, you know, the time will come talaga. If it's for you, it's 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 gonna happen. And for me, weddings are overrated anyway. And you know what? So for a while, and you know this, yeah. I didn't want to address it because I was just like, oh well, like, it's like I'm just a breakup, like Kev's next, yeah, yeah. right? But at the same time, I was like, I know that I don't owe anyone an explanation, but the same thing, I announced. So, yes. para, because and I announced. And it's hard because, you know, the people that follow you yeah. are already part of that journey. And they're, so they're excited. Looking, yeah, they're yeah. looking forward to what's next. So I understand the need to address it. Yeah. Um, I think you don't need to really go into the no reasons not, as to yeah. why. Because I can do that for you, and I'm kidding. No, positive. But Nicole, single never looked this good. I? Okay, Thank you. so you've never been hotter, you've never been happier. And even all of us were like, grab na si Nicole, sobrang enjoy. Parang, I? Oh my just, god. Because you're so fun to be around. I'm like, you should just be single. I, uh, you know what? And I haven't been this, or single this long. 
in a while. You, you know, the boys are already lining up. Exactly. So you better take your time. I I'm know, really taking. My I know time. the. I know there are boys here, there are boys international, there are boys everywhere trying their luck. So, my advice for you is just be single for a while. Because I know there are many options. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm really just enjoying the time and the freedom mm -hmm. that I have with myself. Because, and here's the way I think of it, I'm never going to be this young again. I'm never going to have all these opportunities that I have right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm really just gonna enjoy it because enjoy enjoy the ride ride lang ng ride. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, guys, there's yeah. the answer. Okay. Happily well, single. Let's, let's move on. Let's and then we're moving on. on. So move speaking on. of moving on, one yeah. of the questions was, how do you move on from a breakup? Oh, so you wanna ah. exit ex muna ako ah. or ikaw muna ba? Wala alam pa ako na. No, I would just say you. Yeah. You would give good advice because you helped me through it. Of you course, gave me really good course. advice at the start. I would say that one, you need to remind yourself of the reasons why it ended. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times it's so easy to look back on like happy, happy memories and be like, you know, and fall into like a self pity trap. Yeah, and like looking back uh -oh, and like, did I waste years of my life? Yeah. Wala na. Tapos those times are done. I think. So, eto na yon. Yeah, I think. Focus on the future. Yes. Focus of in, of, uh, in what's in front of you. Yeah. Focus on your goals and really work on yourself. That's yeah. what super helped me. Mm -hmm. I think really focusing on. I I even made a list. I was like, what do I want to achieve this month? What mm -hmm. do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Yeah. Even if I I went to Jess's wedding single mm -hmm. and I, we talked about that, I was like that might be triggering because it's a wedding and. But already okay. there, boys were already like, wait, she's single, like so <laughs> that's a good sign. No, but you know what I mean. I really made sure to also surround myself with friends. That's good. And I yeah. knew that that would be a place to surround myself with. Surround friends. yourself with positive energy, yeah. with friends and family. Keep yourself busy. Yeah. Don't wallow in self pity. Yeah. Yeah. And. Honestly, just have fun because I know a lot of people, especially in our culture, a lot of people are like, oh, it's so sad to be single. It's so fun. And you were single for super long too. And yeah, you had fun. and I had the best time. Yeah. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think we're the type of people that we make the most of any situation we're in. So That's true. You're in a relationship, you're having, you're living your best life, mm -hmm. and I'm single and I'm living my best life, but it's and, not and, like. And, and it's not. Being in a, it doesn't take being in a relationship for you to be happy. You have to be happy on your own regardless. Yes. You know, the person is just a bonus. So don't use a relationship to, you know, feel complete. Yes, right? that is a big thing. You yeah. should never look for someone to like fill a void in your life. You mm -hmm. should fill, you can only fill from a full overflowing cup, right? Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's better if you're both complete and you come together. Be happy on your own. Yes. Who is your fashion icon and why? You know it changes. Yeah. It changes all the time. And I think now that I'm in my 30s, obviously, like I have to I, I, I really admire people. I tend to look at history. I tend really? to look at yeah, I tend to look at the past. Okay. And you know, I watch the Andy Warhol docuseries mm -hmm. um, on Netflix and I've always been a fan of his. But this one it came from his diaries. Mm -hmm. So you really get to know like his inner thoughts and what was going on. So I really admire him, not only for his fashion style, obviously he has great style, but his ideas, the way he carried himself, the way he, you know, he really pioneered in that time frame. So I, right now it's Andy Warhol. Ang deep naman yung sayo. So what was that? But like, Dua Lipa, I like Dua Lipa too. <laughs> Culturally, like predominant <laughs> naman sayo. Um, no, mine would have to be. I have a bunch on, like a bunch of IG girls that mm. I follow. But I always say one of the classics that I really love is Olivia Palermo. Okay, right? she's cute. Very sh always chic and always yeah. so put together. I've met her in LA. Yes. Yeah. So super nice. That's one of them. And then of course, like the pop Dua. Ganyan, Dua Lipa is so cool. She's yes. really had a great reinvention. I yeah. think in the beginning she was kind of like this cutesy pop girl, but yeah. then she really turned herself into this like red carpet icon. Icon. Yeah. Iconic. Yeah. And I Bella think Zendaya too. is also good. Zendaya, yeah. yes. So not as historically history yeah. historically yeah. <laughs> not as historically significant, but I think 
of our time and of our generation. Very yeah. today. Very now. Very today. Yes. Well, if you want me to go today, I think Lil Nas X is really doing yes. exciting things. Timothy Chalamet is doing exciting things. Yes. So for guys, I think now it's it's amazing. It's an amazing time because you, there are no more rules. But I think we should actually give a nod to a lot of these big names and stars. It's not them. I mean, of it's course they their, have. It's their yeah, stylist. It's the team. Yeah. Yeah. So we. La have, Roche. La Roche. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know who styles Timothy, but also does a great job. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of the stylists behind the scenes of the looks that we. It's love. really a collaboration yeah. for those guys. Yeah. What's your next favorite or next dream destination that you haven't been to? So that's a really good question because I've been thinking about it and, I, and I've never been to South America. I've been, I studied yeah. there. So I've never been, I want to go to Brazil, I want to go to Peru, I want to go to Argentina, Chile. Chile. So yeah. I want to explore that part of the world because that's the only continent and maybe Africa. I haven't been to okay. Africa. So Africa and South America. Okay. Yeah. Those are fun. Those well, are fun. I've, yeah. I've done South America for a lot of people who don't know. I actually did a study abroad program there mm. for a while, and then I did Argentina with Sauce and Nico. That's right. For, that was really fun. You should go there. So I didn't go to their wedding. Yeah, we do. I know. We do. I, know. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. I had, yeah. I had work at that time, so I couldn't go. But I really want to explore that part of the world. Yeah. Mm. So we'll give you tips when you go, or we'll go with you. But I'm more fun. Let's just go together. Ah, you know lang. We'll okay. plan a trip. Pero for me, I'll book na. Oh. I'll book na. I'll book na now. Wait. Okay. So for me, naman, I would say that I've always really wanted to see um, the Northern Lights. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it. And so may Las Piñas yan, de ba? No. So may, so may ano? Pampanga. So right? SM North. <laughs> Yeah, and I want to see that, and then I also really want to do an African safari. Mm. But I feel like if I do, just because I mean, in the we don't the most outdoorsy. But it needs to be us. Yeah, I'm, I I enjoy I enjoy the great indoors. You <laughs> outdoors, medyo na ah, stress. But it's good to see. Yeah. Like wildlife and their like natural habits. Pero dun lang kayo. Yeah. Well, from afar. Because sometimes, but they jump on the on the jeep. And or they get really close. Yes. A, so Diba Erwan and Anne did this whole jungle thing. With the gorillas. The gorillas, they yeah. almost got attacked. Yeah. <laughs> That's not Mon's vibe. That's not the vibe. <laughs> so No parang, no monkeys will attack me. No. No, no, no. So parang, if we do that, I feel like it would be fun if we went as a group of friends because everyone understands everyone's vibe. Kasi yeah. kapag, walang pilitan. Walang pilitan. Yun yun. Yun. Okay. What are your dating turnoffs? My dating turnoffs. At the list. Ako na haba. Well, actually, uh, but you've had, you've gone through a lot of what? dates. Mm -hmm. Easy lah. No, no, no. But dating doesn't mean you're yes. sleeping around. Yes, dating yes, means yes. getting to know someone, having dinner with them. You know, it's a trial and error thing. Yes. Dating is a very complicated thing. Sometimes you hit it. Hit it off right, right away. away or it Sometimes takes it takes time. Yeah. You know, so any more red flags for you? Okay, so a few turnoffs or red flags for me would be one, bad hygiene. I cannot. That's my number one. <laughs> if your breath stinks, <laughs> check please. <laughs> please remove yourself from my universe. Like, literally, just walk away. My universe? Oh my god, but that's true. Ang hirap, kahit, ga, kahit gano, That's ka number one for me. That's Cannot. number one, yeah. Second for me is, I don't know, I'm super turned off pag mayapa. Oh yeah. Yeah, because confidence is so sexy, but cockiness... Iba ang confidence sa cockiness. Yes. Confidence is someone that can carry themselves well, can carry yeah. a conversation. You know, like confident in, a, in, in what they do, yes. in how they act, pero... Hindi, it doesn't cross the line, yes. right, of cockiness. Cockiness is bragging. Yes. Cockiness is lifting themselves up too and, much. Or also putting other people down yes. to look better. Ganyan. So, yun yung mga turn offs ko. And I would also say. How bad style? Oh, I'm deep! <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, if you're wearing the wrong shoe, if you're wearing the wrong yeah. outfit, like, I can't move past that. Okay. Sorry, but we cannot. Um, for me, not so much the 
to the style. Kasi for I me, the way naman, I, I can I tell can from help. your past, ano. Because <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, it's important to say your passion. Uh -oh. Clear na clear naman yun. <laughs> <laughs> True. Another thing that is a turn off for me would be inconsistency. Yon. Hot and cold. Uh, no, not hot and cold. Like, parang you say one thing, like, kunwari, oh, oh, not consistent with their words. Yes, like, oh. even as simple as, like, oh, I love sports. Pero never like sports. Ay, parang mm. hindi nagtutugma yung words sa action. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. don't, I'm like, mm, wag na, wag na pa, patagalin pa. Because sometimes people say things that, to think that. Nagpapa impress. Yes, it will impress you yeah. or it will get you to go to another date with them. Yes. So, kailangan importante to be yourself pa rin. Yeah. Diba? Okay, how about you as the one in the relationship now? What, are, what would you say are like dating do's? Dating do's. I think just be yourself. Okay. Like, you know, with me, there was no pressure because okay. when we first met, it wasn't even a date. Yeah. So we just got to know each other on a kind of like a friendly basis. Yeah. And then that's when you really learn if you're attracted to someone because you're just having a casual conversation. Yeah. I think for me, what's very attractive is wit, sense of humor. Yes. You know what I mean? I think if you're cultured, okay. if I love pop culture. Yes. So if you're well versed in entertainment and fashion, I love you already. Yeah. You that's know what true. I mean? We'll be friends already. Yeah. So you know my type. And another thing you told me when I was single in LA mm -hmm. is you had I have to put myself out there. You have to. Yeah. If you're at home the whole day, unless you're you're you want to date a magnanakao, yeah. then <laughs> unless your type is like a yeah. burglar. Yeah. Hindi so you really mangigit. have to put yourself out there, go uh -oh. out, network, meet new people, uh -oh. and it's not like you're trying to like date the Every, first guy. Everyone you meet. Yeah, but it's really just putting yourself out there because you never know who you're gonna meet the best. That's right, and it's you know what? It's been unexpectedly like a pleasant surprise. With you? Yeah. I know, girl. You have so many guys. Oh my god! <laughs> like. I want to see the list. It's growing every day. Eh, hindi naman. Ano lang yon? Mga nagpaparamdam lang. Ang dami. Okay. <laughs> Let's name names. Oh my god! <laughs> Itago natin sa pangalang. Na ko. Iba jan showbiz. O M. <laughs> oh, last one. Which someone asked here. What are the funniest misconceptions about us? Ang dami. Ang dami. Well, people think I'm a bitch. That's not true. I'm the kindest person I know. Okay, okay. I'll clarify this as your friend. Yeah. People think um, I'm a bitch. I think people, it's just my Instagram. People think Mond is very unapproachable and matare, but it's only because you carry yourself very well and that's intimidating to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But I I like I see you all the time with everyone you meet from from people from the highest level to the yeah. lowest. Hindi ka namin mide, mabait ka sa lahat. Naman yung lowest, every everyone. Okay, everyone. No, but you know what I mean? Like, hindi ka namin mide. Yeah, and I think that's the first thing when people yeah. meet me, they're like, ay, mabait ka pala. Oh. I'm like, wait, what did I. What ano makala niya? Yeah, ano makala niya. So, uh -oh. I think that's the number one misconception about me. Um, and I think also intimidating, kasi um, you're so tall, you're always dressed impeccably, and so it's. And then, parang you you really have a certain aura and poise around you. I have a vibe. You have a vibe, <laughs> and it's intimidating for some people. But once people talk to you, yeah, it's they realize that. Oh, yeah, guys. Just so when you see normal. me on the streets, just give me a high five. Yeah. Ika, what's the biggest mistake? That you're dumb. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so <laughs> true. Because even you think that's so. No, no, no. <laughs> because when you watch someone's IG, it's yeah. the surface level. Yeah. So they think you're only caring about fashion and hair makeup. and makeup. Yeah. They don't know that you're well read. Yeah. They don't know that you're well traveled, that you're Speak cultured. Languages. Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's it's easy to assume because of what they see on Instagram. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people actually really are surprised when I talk to them about current affairs or yeah. news. They're like, Why do you know that? I'm like Yeah, she's yeah. not dumb people. <laughs> not dumb. Okay. But people do think that. Alright, so there you guys have it. If you guys have any more questions or if you want to see a part two, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for doing this with like three hours of sleep. I know, guys. It's time for me to nap. 
my jet lag is hitting me. So thank you, Nicole, for having me. And hopefully we got to answer, we didn't get to answer everything, yes. but we got to answer some of your questions. So if you guys want to do a part two, just let us know. All right, so we're gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave some love in the comment section down below. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.